What's up? It's Juice Beats back again with another video. And uh, here we go. I wanted uh, to do a new video and kind of talk about my bike because I haven't really talked about it much. And I think I have got it to where I want it at this point. And I'm not going to put too many other things on it. So I uh, wanted to kind of go over all the different things that I have on my bike here. So the first thing that I want to talk about is, you know, the name of my bike. I call it Venom. And one of the reasons why I call it Venom is, you know, obviously the uh, the black and white aesthetic that I've got going on here. Um, that's kind of what I came up with for this one. Basically, I, I was kind of, you know, I was just trying to come up with a name for the bike. And uh, it was either going to be Stormtrooper or it was going to be Venom. So, and I think Venom sounds a little more menacing and uh, it's pretty cool. So that's the reason why my, my bike's called Venom. But uh, anyway, it didn't start out black and white. We, I actually had a, um, it wasn't an S-Works version, but a specialized version of the Tarmac SL7, which this is the uh, Tarmac SL7 S-Works bike. But I had the, the Pro version, which was just the specialized logo right here and uh, had some different colors and things on it. I'll uh, flash that up on the screen there for you to show you what the old bike looked like. But basically, the old bike had a crack in the seat stay and I had to uh, get it replaced. And during that time in, in the replacement period, it took about nine months, but Specialized did a great thing. They actually upgraded my uh, frame from the, the regular Specialized to the S-Works. So you go from the 10R carbon to the 12R carbon version, which is their highest end uh, version of the S-Works tarmac and the uh, carbon that they do on these bikes. So um, got a got a pretty good deal out of it. And obviously it was just the frame. Um, everything else was taken from my other bike. So that's why I have uh, Shimano Ultegra on here. So don't really need Dura Ace uh, in particular, I guess, because uh, really it's, it's just weight saving and the bike's already pretty light. Um, I wanna say that the bike is about 16 pounds last time I, I weighed it, but obviously I've changed a few things since then, so it may be less, it may be a little bit more, but um, I'm going with 16 pounds because I don't have a, a, uh, a scale that I can uh, weigh the bike at the moment. But uh, let's go over a few more things on the bike here. So the first thing here is my Pro Logo uh, saddle. It's the uh, Scratch and it's the NAC version, so it is the carbon rails, and I really like it. Uh, I had the, the, the normal S-Works or the, uh, the normal specialized saddle that came with the bike early on, and I didn't really like it very much. I felt like it was a little wide for me. Um, obviously, I guess the, it was shorter too, but um, I guess the short part didn't really bother me as much, but I really, I wanted something a little bit thinner so that when I'm racing or when I'm riding, I wasn't feeling that um, on the sides of my thighs. And I was kind of feeling that on the other on the other seat. So that's why I ended up switching to this one. It's a little bit more narrow and I'm able to put out a lot of power through this one. Um, so I really enjoy this one. I really like this one. It's got a nice little cutout channel as well. And so, um, you know, that relieves some pressure on the perineum. And so I really like this saddle there. The next thing I want to talk about, uh, so the handlebars, these are the old Aerofly S-Works handlebars. I think now they've switched over to uh, some Reval brand. But uh, so these were the original ones that came with the Tarmac, I think back in, 2020, 2021, maybe. Um, I'm not sure of the dates on that, but so those were the original. And, um, you know, they are 44s, which at this point I think may be a little bit too wide. So that may be something that I change in the future. But right now, um, I do have wide shoulders. So um, I'm rocking with the 44 centimeters on this one. And, um, you know, eventually. I may go down to 40 centimeters so that I get a little bit more narrow. It'll help me out with uh, being a little bit more aero on the bike as well. And then let's see, let's talk about, so the wheels here, these are the Drive 50Ds. 
and these are by Elite Wheels. I love these wheels. I did a whole lot of research before I went and, and bought these. I was looking at all sorts of wheels all over the place. Um, I looked at the Revals, I looked at uh, Windspace, I looked at Hunt, I, you know, all these different brands um, just to figure out which ones I like the best. And these got some great reviews. Some people on, on YouTube talked about how, how much they liked them as well. And um, I really liked it. They were very light, but very stiff as well. They come with ceramic bearings and um, I've just, I've, I've really enjoyed them. Coming from a, an aluminum pair that was, you know, built just for the bike that it originally came with, these things are like light years away uh, or ahead of those. Obviously, they are really light. So I think I went from, the, with the original bike, over 17 and a half pounds or something like that, almost close to 18 uh, probably and with these wheels that's what dropped it down into the 16 pound range so uh, definitely very light very stiff um, i like the 50 millimeter depth that gives me a good balance between aero um, on the flats and it helps out i think on the uh, climbs and stuff for me obviously i'm not really a climber i'm more of a, a sprinter fast twitch type muscle guy uh, so climbs in me don't really mix that well but it does help when i'm on group rides or if i am doing climbs um, it helps me get up those climbs a little bit easier with these wheels um, so i really do enjoy those wheels a lot as far as uh, everything else on the bike so um, a lot of this is is really just aesthetics so i, I went with the white bar tape obviously to uh, match kind of the theme of the venom um, I've got the, uh, the custom Venom uh, cap right here and then the logos as well. So I've got the name Venom and, and also the Venom logo on the, uh, the top bar here. And then I went with these uh, S-Works bottle cages. They're white, carbon, um, they're super, super light. I think they're only a little bit above 20 grams a piece. So uh, super light, but they also hold bottles really well. Um, so I've really liked those a lot on here. This is the Absolute Black chain rings. And I went with a 5339 on those, um, which is uh, standard. Uh, usually, you know, you go for the, uh, the compact, I think is what, what normally comes with it. So I think I had a 5236 originally on this, but I wanted something with a little more uh, power or when I put the power down, it's going to uh, give me a better response out of uh, the chain rings. So that's why I bumped up to these 5339s. And uh, I noticed an immediate difference with these as well. So uh, as soon as I got them put on and, and started to uh, pedal, I noticed the engagement was a lot quicker than it was with the 5236. So that's why I went with these and I haven't looked back. So uh, I really like that. In the back, I think I just have a, a normal 1130 cassette there. And, and that's what came with the bike originally, 1130. Um, I haven't upgraded obviously, cause I'm not doing super uh super tough hills or anything like that right now so there's really no need for me to go from 11:30 to like 11:32 or 11:34 or anything like that so uh, riding with that as well um and then uh i've only got the left side crank but i do have a power meter it's the stages power meter it's a left side crank my cranks are 175 millimeters um, so that's usually standard i think for the bike size which is a 58 um, a lot of bikes come with uh, 172.5 millimeters and then um, the other the other sizes are usually uh, something that you swap out but uh, 175 is what comes with the uh, the 58 and that's what size bike i ride i, I I don't know any other power meters or anything like that to compare the two. So what I get on here is, is what, what I, uh, I say 
in, in a lot of my other videos or, or what I see in my other videos where you can see my power. That's what I'm getting my power from is the stages power meter there. So I actually just switched out my stem here and I went from the standard 110 millimeters to 120. And basically what that does is it gives me a little bit more stretch in the front. So when I'm leaning in in races and trying to get low and trying to get aero, I'm getting just a little bit extra lean in the front. And, you know, I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you've had a bike fit. And I recently did have a bike fit. And uh, hopefully I can get that video out for you soon. I'm still trying to put it together and, and, and piece it. But so with my bike fit, I was able to, to get everything dialed in really well. And we actually did it on, a, on the 110 stem, but my backup bike is 120. And I do feel like I'm better stretched out on the 120. So that's why I went ahead and switched this one out and ridden around on it a few times already. This is very, very recent. So I'm still getting used to it, but um, it feels really good uh, for me now. Like I'm able to get a little bit lower and stretch out just a little bit further on that. And uh, you know, hopefully my bike fitter doesn't uh, get on me for switching that out. But uh, that's one thing that I, I felt like I needed to do. Um, one of the, the last races that I did in, in the Music City, I felt like I wasn't getting enough stretch and I wasn't getting low enough. And so that's what kind of made my decision to kind of switch it out for 120 millimeter out front, give me a little bit more stretch out there and uh, be able to get a little bit lower. So we're gonna try that out for a little while. Um, if I need to, I can go back. Obviously, I've got everything dialed in and, and, and marked. So if I do need to go back, I can. But right now I'm gonna try this out and see how it feels. Like I I said this is a, a 58 size frame this is the s-works tarmac sl7 and um, you can't buy this frame this particular frame in the stores because it's a warranty frame this is what they send out when you do a warranty replacement so you get this black and white frame and so knowing that ahead of time that i was going to get the black and white frame that's what kind of made up my mind i was going to kind of go for this aesthetic of the white um white seat white bar tape white bottle cages there and then you know just kind of even even the small touches here so out front i've got i actually had to spray paint these but these are my bolts out front um, they are white as well. So that just gives it that extra little flair. Um, there's nothing to gain or anything from that, but um, you know, just looking cool, I guess. And then I've got, also got this uh, white cap on the front there with the uh, Venom logo. So that goes with the rest of the aesthetic there. One thing I wanted to say uh, as well is, you know, this is a wax chain. So I do wax my chains and I feel like obviously it keeps everything cleaner on the bike but um, I really feel like there's uh, some gain to it as well. And I may do a video later on. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on uh, waxing my chain, but definitely a game changer as far as speed. Like I feel like it, it's definitely smoother. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like I'm, I'm pedaling in sludge or anything like that. So definitely a game changer with the uh, wax chains. And I can talk about that in another video if you'd like. But uh, yeah. You know, that's my bike. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions or anything, leave them down there in the comments. I'll try to answer as much as possible about that. But uh, this is my uh, speed machine. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when I post videos. But, uh, you know, guys, I really appreciate the love and uh, we're trying to grow this channel and uh, get over a thousand subscribers soon. So, you know, let other people know about the channel as well and i'll be posting some more race videos soon i will see you on the next one peace